illegal immigrant who needs antibiotics. That's good. People have come to me with some pretty strange requests, but yours, I'll get you a blue ribbon. Does it amuse you that my career is at stake? Because I got caught red-handed stealing medication, antibiotics, in the hospital. So I had to come up with a story other than, oh, Johnny Zakara is blackmailing me into treating a gunshot wound in his living room. You'd have given me up in a heartbeat if I didn't have leverage on you. Okay, well, now it's your turn. If you want me to keep covering up your sorry ass, then you need to find a way to cover up mine. Uh, Abby Haver, meet Carly Jacks, my mom. Hi. Hi to meet you. Nice to meet you. Michael hasn't mentioned you. You know, I, I haven't really known Abby all that long. Oh, you know, it's probably not a big deal to Michael, but I got a D on my last pre-calculus quiz, so I don't want to fail the final, so he has been nice enough to uh, tutor me. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I keep losing track. I mean, do you, do you do you hate me? I mean, do you want me dead? Or, uh, when we did the Franco thing, I, I thought there was a mutual respect, but then you tried to blow my head off. Well, you talked me out of that. Yeah, because you knew killing me would make Michael's life worse. And that hasn't changed. Okay, so here we are again, working together, this time for Brenda. All right, look, how far would you go to protect her? So, uh, I get the feeling you like the house. It's okay. <laughs> this house feels like a dream to me. So. Well, you know, I wanted to make up for all the time apart, and I wanted to be able to give you something that I, I couldn't give you, you know, before. You don't have to make up for anything with me. So how exactly did you get caught stealing antibiotics? Robin caught me taking a bottle off the med tray. Well, Robin, no wonder you were scrambling. People didn't know whether or not to believe her, and then a patient backed her up on it, so. So first you were seen, I don't know, running around the hospital trying to <laughs> inject your lover's wife with God knows what, and then you were caught stealing antibiotics by that same woman. You're not too good at playing this other woman thing, are you? I got Patrick into bed, didn't I? One time. Mm -hmm. Trust me, he's still thinking about it. I'm just pointing out that um, uh, you're damn lucky that the hospital believed your story. Uh, how did that go, by the way, exactly? What, I'm sorry, I, I got this illegal immigrant that needs antibiotics? Mm, I just told him that my housekeeper's cousin had an infection, was afraid of being deported. You think on your feet? Yeah, well. The only problem is that Steve insists that I bring my charity case in for treatment, so I either produce someone who fits this description, or I admit that I am treating an unreported gunshot wound. Well, I, I am clearly in no condition to go out there and look for somebody with an infection and no green card. Okay, then come up with plan B and get me off the hook. Otherwise, we're both in serious trouble. So you're in school? City College. Yeah, I'm studying to be a paralegal. Good for you. How'd you meet Michael? Sam McCall. She introduced us. Yeah, Sam met Abby in one of her PI cases. Mm. Yeah. I hope you didn't hire Sam to follow a cheating spouse. Oh, no, no. It was nothing like that. I mean, I'm, I'm single, and I'm not one of Sam's clients. I don't get the connection. Are you working as a PI to pay for school oh, or something? Mom, you really don't need to interrogate Abby. Well, I'm just curious. I mean, you're great with math, but... It's a little odd that you're helping someone who works for Sam. Are you paying Michael? Can you just excuse us for a minute? Of course, absolutely. Uh, I don't understand. Oh. What's the problem? Can you please leave? You're really, you're really embarrassing me. Brenda killed Alexander. She was, uh, she was hysterical, man. I mean, uh, she was shaking. I had to like hang on to her, and I. You know, one look in her eyes, I knew I wasn't going to call that in. I was going to compromise my badge to save her. I put her in a car a week later, and, and, and off she went, and I thought that was going to be the end of it, but it, obviously it's not. Look, I keep thinking I could just be so easy to tell her right now how I felt then and see if she felt the same way for me at all. 
What good would that do? Nothing. Maybe I'd have an answer. And what damage would that cause? Tons. I'm in love with Lulu. She's in love with Sonny. I mean, that's just the, the tip of the iceberg. Then you know what you have to do. Yeah, I know what I have to do. I just don't know how to do it, man. I mean, how do you, how do you stand right next to her and then ignore her and, and stop thinking about what didn't even happen? But, but what you got to ask yourself is how you'd feel if you betrayed someone who trusted you. Because I've done that. I've been selfish. I've been wrong. And I'm telling you, it's a regret you'll carry for the rest of your life. If this, you know, if it's happening too fast. Mm -hmm. We've been waiting for months. I just don't want you to feel any kind of pressure. You know how much I've missed you. I missed you. More than you'll ever know. tonight so you play them I'll stake you and uh, we'll go for like a 70 30 split of the profits <laughs> what's the upside in that one I can stake myself for a hundred percent of the profits the upside is that you get to demonstrate to your dear old dad that in time of crisis you're loyal to family oh and what is this crisis Tracy's wedding <laughs> No, oh, man, she's insisting that I pay for the whole expanding extravaganza. Well, why don't you just tell Tracy that it's too expensive and you need her to simplify? Right, like I'm going to lay down in front of that steamroller. <laughs> no, no, it's going to happen her way, and that means I have to pay for it. Oh, what impeccable timing. Here you are. I need a favor, and your brother's being less than accommodating. Yeah, Luke is expecting some fat cats with fat wallets tonight. Mm -hmm. So, could you possibly help us relieve them of a sizable chunk of their income? You want me to help finance your next getaway? No, my wedding. The budget is ballooning. Tracy's insisting that I and I alone pick up the tab. So let me get this straight. You want lucky to help you face some unsuspecting customers to pay for your wedding? Mm -hmm. Hello, husband-to-be. What are you plotting with your offspring? And why are there no customers again? Honey, the last thing I want to do is embarrass you. Please, 
please don't grill Abby. You seem to know a lot about her. I'm just wondering who she is. What's she? Look, she's the first friend I made since I got out of Penville. Right? Being a probable convict doesn't exactly make me popular. I am I happy know. that you've met someone that you feel comfortable around. I'm just want to know more about her. She's a friend of Sam's. She's a good person. Why can't she just leave it at that? Well, you guys are done with your tutoring session. Her book was in her bag. Yeah, okay. I told you we're friends. I like talking to her, not just about school. You like her? Oh, oh she's please drop it. Oh, you're entitled to your privacy. Sure. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Sorry to rush Michael off, but he promised to help his brother with um, his homework. Oh, no problem. Just uh, call if you have time for another tutoring session, okay? Okay. Come on. What is giving you insight on a case? Is it is it confidential or something you can tell me? Uh, no, I was just asking if he had seen a change in a colleague's behavior, and I'm really, really sorry for putting you on the spot. It's all right. Yeah. How's it going with Brenda? Is Jason any closer to catching the guy who's targeting her? Uh, he's making progress. It's going really, really slow. But I, I gotta, I gotta go. Thank you again. I of appreciate the mm. help. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, the guy that uh, Sam's investigating, I wish I could shake him and tell him he's making a mistake. Well, even good, decent people make mistakes sometimes. Robin, I know I sound like a stuck record, but I am really sorry. Uh. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> so Matt and I are going to go get dinner at Chez Loire, and you guys should join us. We're not going to take no for an answer. So what if you don't produce this illegal immigrant who needs antibiotics? Big deal. Okay, you, you don't seem to get it. All right, Steve told me I had to bring her in. I'm sure you are a good liar and you looked deeply into his eyes with sincerity and told him about your ailing immigrant. Yeah, well, Robin didn't believe a word of it. Robin, big deal. <laughs> What's the worst that could happen? She can get me booted from staff permanently barred from the hospital. I'll pay you a hefty retainer to be my personal physician. That's not funny. I'm not joking. Patrick and I have a connection. Hey, we always have. And us sleeping together was a mutual decision, and he left happy. And it wasn't until Robin came back and bludgered him with guilt. Okay, okay, look, 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 look. I, I understand that you and Robin don't like each other, but at a certain point, you know. No, gotta... I have been through the ringer. I have fended off Robin's endless accusations. I've endured the scorn of my peers. I even bought myself a ticket into the loony bin, all so that I could win a chance by Patrick's side. So I'll be damned if I'm gonna stop now. The way to Patrick's heart is in the OR because his respect for me as a surgeon has never wavered. So I am not gonna miss the chance to be around him, especially for the dubious pleasure of tending your needs. Maybe you know that I uh, I slept with Elizabeth while she was still married to Lucky. Yeah, I heard that. Lulu probably told yeah, me. Yeah, well, I could give you all the reasons it happened, all the excuses that I made for myself. But the simple truth is Elizabeth was married, Lucky had been a friend, I was wrong, and the fallout still hasn't ended. Well, you guys seem to get along pretty good. Yeah, but that's Lucky. You know, he's been incredibly gracious, and that's not even why I'm, I'm, I'm telling you this. I had feelings for Elizabeth I didn't act on. It's not worth the pain I caused. So if I were you, I wouldn't say anything to Brenda how you feel. And don't lie to yourself that if you did, something good would come from it. No one will ever accuse you of not telling it like it is, man. I mean, it's your choice. I made my choice three years ago. I just don't know how to live with it. Okay, can we uh, focus now on this? What we know about... Yeah. Case. Alexander Yanichek dies in 2007. His body's recovered from a Jersey swamp about seven months ago. Ever since that point, it seems like the Balkans have been targeting Brenda. It's safe to assume that he knows that she knows how his son died. Right, and if he knows that, he could also know that you were one of the cops guarding Brenda. Why, does he think he'll come after me personally? Well, if he figures it out, he will. 
we, we got to figure out if Jerry Jackson's the Balkan. Okay, it, that, that's possible, but nobody even knows where Jerry is. No one can find him, including his own family. Now, it's also possible that the Balkan... Yeah, I appreciate you tracking me down. Most people just pick up the phone. Well, first I need to make it real clear that I, I have no part in any action you choose to undertake against the family of Alexander Yanichek. Oh, wait a second, is the family trying to contact you? The lawyers representing the family have arranged to move up the release of the body from Wednesday to tonight, two hours. Where, uh, where's the body going to be released? I, I need to make it real clear. I, I hope you realize I would never do anything to cooperate with organized crime. The East Loading Dock. Tonight. Hey, Doc. Thank you. You have nothing to worry about.